Art 180 gives young people the chance to express themselves through art and to share their stories with others so that we can turn lives and communities around 180 degrees. Before I jump into my talk, I would like to share with you a poem that I wrote entitled Back to Black. There's a leak in this old building and my soul has got to move and my soul has got to move. Mothers keep on crying and my soul has got to move. Yes, my soul has got to move. My brothers keep on dying and my soul yearns for their survival. We, the black people of the United States, who grew up from the dust on a continent where animals roamed free and skin was darker and hair was coarser and the sun shined brighter, where we dance to the rhythm of the pound of the drum and the hymns and the hums my people made with their tongues. But that was a long time ago. Animals are now captives. Dark skin isn't accepted. Hair must be straight and it's always raining. We move when told to by men in uniforms wearing firearms on their hips. To us, silver badges don't mean shh. Stay quiet, lay low, don't follow trouble where it goes, don't make things harder. Your gender and skin color is all they need as an excuse to wear that fashion statement they wear so proud around their waist. Fully loaded, pointed towards you, freeze! They got you surrounded, so now what you gonna do? Rap? And we hate Paul Paul when the killer's dead in the street for sure. Yeah, we know. But does saying it make it any better? We think spitting rhymes gonna hurt them. But no matter how many tracks we say at the police, murdering us is their comeback. What is all right about that? They're hoping that we fall back. I don't know about you, but I'm not with that. Emotions run high. The 20th anniversary was just the start, but we can't stop and we won't stop till we get corrupt cops off the block. We can't stop, won't stop. I said we can't stop, won't stop. We have to organize smart, not riot or loot, because even with our hands up, they shoot. As you are walking out of here tonight, I want you to reach out to someone you don't know and introduce yourself to them. Then talk to them about whatever it was from my poem that stuck with you. Sounds Pretty awkward, right? Here I am, some 15-year-old, asking you to break out of your comfort zone and start a dialogue with some stranger. No emojis. You can't just click a like button. No time to find a well-placed meme of Kermit sipping his tea. In real time, you will actively have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone you didn't know about my poem addressing real issues, not just affecting African-American youth, but our entire country. Technology and social media have given us the opportunity to become connected in ways we have not experienced before. But instead of reflecting the world as it is, we have created a world as we would like it to be. Carefully curated portraits of ourselves with using just the right angle and filter. It is important that we create opportunities for strangers to interact about social issues 
and real spaces. Art can be just a catalyst to make that happen. For example, during the summer of this year, 16 unacquainted teens grouped, collaborated, wrote, and performed an original play, Black Lives Matter. We were able to share our opinions on the national movement and offer a glimpse into our own experiences. The play consisted of many short scenes that addressed racial inequality, cultural appropriation, police brutality, juvenile incarceration, teen suicide, and institutional racism. We were able to give our audience something to respond to, something tangible they couldn't ignore or shy away from. A bunch of kids who didn't know each other two months before challenged an audience of mostly adults to have a real conversation about an inconvenient truth. We let them be their honest selves and encourage them to speak their truth. Okay, this wasn't some small, polite talk you have with your uncle over Thanksgiving. As young people, we have the power to affect change. Look at this event, we are doing it now. In a world where we are becoming rapidly more connected digitally through carefully manicured profiles and bitter statements made anonymously in comment sections, it is important that we create opportunities like this where we can share physical space and ideas. We must join together to be as one. Thank you.